The Archer AX73 is a wireless router made by TP-Link. It supports the Wi-Fi 6 standard, which means it can deliver fast wireless speeds and is well suited for use in homes with many devices that connect to the internet. Some of the key features of the Archer AX73 include Wi-Fi 6 technology, the router supports the latest Wi-Fi 6 standard, which provides faster speeds and better performance in crowded wireless environments. OFDMA technology, the Archer AX73 uses orthogonal frequency division multiple access OFDMA, technology to allow multiple devices to connect to the router simultaneously without experiencing performance degradation. The router has 8 gigabit Ethernet ports for wired connections to devices such as computers, gaming consoles, and smart TVs. The Archer AX73 comes with an easy-to-use web-based setup wizard that makes it simple to get your router up and running. DDoS Attack Prevention Home Shield will record abnormal incoming traffic, and the device will automatically block requests from enlisted IPs. Home Shield identifies IoT devices, including cameras and voice assistants, to block all potential security holes and secure your privacy. Designed to be cool, the slant rectangle atop of the scaled armor design provides a contemporary aesthetic. The vent design takes up 167 square centimeters, 25 in superscript 2, of its top surface for improved heat dissipation, unleashing the whole machine's full power. Connect more devices, easily handle dozens of devices streaming and gaming at the same time, OFDMA and MUMIMO combine to future-proof your home network by providing greater capacity to connect more devices. OFDMA enables different devices to share one transmission stream, increasing efficiency. In the router's advanced options, you can actually see an interface like this, where the internet connection status can be seen, you can also see your LAN IP and LAN status, on the next tab you can customize your internet connection, from here it is also possible to do Mac clone and if you want to turn NAT on or off then you can do that from this option will be. The screen now shows the location from here you can change the LAN IPs as you wish. If your operator offers you IPTV then of course you can do that configuration from here. You can change the DHCP server configuration from here on your router if you want. If you want, you can access the router from your other location by adding dynamic DNS from here. If you want to change the static routing then of course you can do it from here. You can use Plink ID from this place and you have to come here to log into Plink ID. From here you can access all of your wireless settings. From here you can change your wireless network name and password. If necessary, you can change the ID and password of the wireless network from here. If necessary, you can turn on and off your 5 GHz and 2 GHz networks as well as customize its channels. Here you can analyze the wireless network in detail. If you want to share your wireless network with your guests then you must turn on this option.
USB port that allows you to share files, media, and other data with devices on your network. This can be useful for sharing documents, photos, or other types of files with others on your network or for accessing media stored on a USB storage device from your devices. Next is the option, additional settings, NAT forwarding, port forwarding, including some more essential options. If you subscribe to our channel and stay with our channel, then you will see detailed videos on all these topics very soon on our channel. From security options, you can control your router from outside traffic or inside traffic. New videos will be published on this channel regularly about what option works and how to do it so that the router will support you very well. You can easily install VPN on this router. You can install two types of VPN here, OpenVPN or PPTP. If you subscribe to our channel and stay with our channel, then you will see detailed videos on all these topics very soon on our channel. If your internet provider has provided you with IPv6 connection, then you need to enable IPv6 from this option. A mesh network is a type of wireless network in which multiple devices, called nodes, work together to create a single, seamless network. In a mesh network, each node communicates with the others to create a network that covers a larger area. It also contains system settings, firmware upgrade, backup and restore, administration, system log, diagnostics, time and language, reboot, LED control, operation mode. Here we have tried to show details about the router if you like the video, our hard work will be worth it.